Mike, I see this, a child's book of stars on the wall. Can you tell us a little bit about this? There's a long story behind that. I, I've often been asked uh, what got you started in the space business. Right. And the truth is that when I was uh, five years old for either that Christmas or, or that birthday, and they're close together, so I don't remember which, but um, my, I had newly learned to read, and my mother gave me um, this book on astronomy. Wow. Uh, and I was just fascinated by it. Right. I read it and read it and read it and reread it and memorized everything in it, which was kind of a waste of time because what we've done in the last 50, 60 years has proven that most of it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but be that as it may, uh, I, I started then reading other books about space and astronomy, and I just became enamored of the subject. And as I, I got older, I realized that my talents lay more in, in engineering than science, so I became an aerospace engineer rather than, say, an astronomer. Oh, okay. But uh, it, that set me on, on my career path in life. Now, as mothers do, I, I mean, I lost track of this book sometime when I got older, but as mothers right. sometimes do, uh, she kept a lot of my childhood possessions, and then uh, one day when I was much, much older, she... Um, gave me a box of stuff from my early childhood and this book was in it. Wow. So I saved it. And then a few years after that, I was uh, appointed by President Bush to be uh, NASA Administrator in, in 2005. And uh, we were, if you recall, we were in the process of returning to flight from the Columbia accident. Right. And so Eileen Collins, the commander of the crew, asked um, through a friend of mine, an intermediary, if there was anything that they could do was uh, fly for me as a memento mm -hmm. um, in appreciation. Right. And so my friend called my wife, and my wife said, oh, he has this book. All this was unknown to me. Wow. So, so she said, oh, he has this book that, that got him started in the space business. And right. then they said, perfect, we'd love, to, we'd love to fly it for him. So this picture here shows Eileen and the crew of, of Discovery uh, on uh, STS-114 back in 05 with, with my book uh, encased in a plastic wrapper to <laughs> keep it from falling apart, I right. guess, because it's about 60 years old almost. Wow. And, uh, and, and so then they brought it back with this certificate of authenticity saying that it had, been, had flown. Wow. And so I had it framed. That's and a really good story. It's a nice little memento, and, and uh, uh, both for what the crew did for me and for my friends and my wife's uh, diligence in sneaking right. this out under my nose. Right, that was a good that. surprise so it's a cute then. Little, cute little story. Yeah, that's a good story.